Hello, uh, this is a little demo of how to record yourself using um, Apple's GarageBand. I'm running Leopard, and uh, this will also work for Tiger. What you'll need before you get started here is you need to have a microphone, either a USB mic or an eighth inch um, little headphone jack type microphone. Make sure it's plugged in. Uh, you'll need some headphones. Make sure your computer speakers are turned off and you're using your headphones to listen to anything. If your speakers are on and you're going to be using the microphone, you're going to get some nasty feedback. So you want to make sure your computer speakers are off. And if you're using headphones, make sure your, your headphones aren't pointed towards the um, microphone or it's going to cause some real issues. So first, make sure that you can hear your sound through um, your headphones and your speakers are off. Launch something like iTunes, listen to some music, and then um, be sure to quit it. So make sure there's no little blue arrow like that floating underneath iTunes. You want to make sure it's closed because it takes up a lot of system resources. A little bit of a pig. And after you have that working, you want to come down to your dock here. You're going to go to System Preferences. You can also get to System Preferences through Finder window. And then you want to go to Sound. And then you want to check your inputs. And if you have a USB mic, you'll see USB here. Just click on that. Um, line in. Click on your line in. We're using the digital input. Um, if you have a digital input, you probably already know how to use the um, GarageBand to do this. But in this case, I'm using digital in. And after you have it clicked and selected, you should see some input. Now, don't worry if you don't hear it yet because we're not really monitoring it. So, um, But you do want to have some popping and some inputs. My levels right here are, are really, really good. And this is what you want to strive for right around here on your recording levels. And this is your output volume for your headset. You can turn it up if you want. It's not going to make a difference if you can't hear it yet, but it will later on. So um, let's assume that you have this working and you're happy with it. We're going to go ahead and close down System Preferences and launch GarageBand. You can launch GarageBand through the dock like I did. If it's not in your dock, go ahead, go into Finder, go to your Applications, go to GarageBand, or just go up and use Spotlight. If it's your first time launching, you're probably not going to get this window. This is an old project I was working on. You're going to get this window, and that's um, a little splash screen. And if you didn't and you want to get that window, you can come up and go to File, New from GarageBand, and that will give you this splash screen window. From the splash screen, we want to select Create a New Podcast, and we're going to call this Test 6, because this is my sixth time doing this. The other ones are too long for YouTube. And this is just your GarageBand file. It's not your actual audio file. So I'm going to save it in GarageBand. I click Create. And it's putting together just a little template for me. It's going to launch GarageBand. Here's our Garage GarageBand user interface window. And these are our tracks. And as you can see, there's a couple other tracks that we really don't need in here. So we're going to go ahead and remove them. And this is uh, selected. It's a, the purple track, podcast track. And I'm going to go ahead and come up here and go delete track. All these tracks, are, like I said, this demo is barely touching GarageBand. All these tracks do wonderful things. But for this, we're just recording your voice. And as you can see, um, my voice is showing up right here. Let's go ahead and remove these other tracks first. So um, we're not going to use a female today. So we're going to delete that track. And we're not going to use jingles, but they're really cool. And if somebody wants me to show you how to use jingles, just um, post a comment or email me through YouTube, and I'll be happy to go in there and show you how to use jingles real quick. So delete this track as well. And now we're with male voice. And you can see that I have some good levels going there, pretty close to the mic. But if And I don't hear myself. If you want to hear yourself, you need to come down here and click on this track information button, which brings up this track information window. And down here, you can choose your source. If you're using USB or in the double band or the double banded um, eighth inch jack, you can choose stereo and click monitor. Now you'll start hearing a, a double here. Um, I have the monitor on. I can hear myself. I'm getting levels right here because the monitor's on. I can turn that up to increase my levels to get better sound. That's usually just hitting the headphones so. though. And I'm getting levels here. Now, for what we're doing, um, Chris, just choose no effects right here, please, and we'll get it nice and clean. I can add those later on. For the YouTube people out there, you can go ahead. Um, if you're getting like a hiss or it's picking up, I don't know, your hard drive spinning, you can choose male narrator noisy. And what that'll do is it'll, it'll cut out some of the background noise, but you're also going to lose some of your voice quality. So, Chris, please choose uh, no effects on yours. And you've got some levels right here. We're ready to record. You come down here and select 
Start or stop record. Bang, we're recording. Boom, boom, boom. Hello, this is recording. One, two, three, and four. I'm happy with it. I click stop. Rewind. And I, it started playing again, but I can rewind it. And then I can hit space bar or click play. If you need to add another track um, to go along with that, you can come up here and go to track new. And you want to go to real instrument for recording through a microphone. Click create. Now we have a new track here. And it's already leveled out because it knows my settings from last time. But you won't hear yourself because monitor is off on that. And you can choose monitor on. And now you can hear yourself. <coughs> so if I want to record on this new track, it's selected in blue. Um, I'm going to mute this one. We don't want to hear it while we're recording. And I'm going to click record. Track two, track two, track two, track two, track two. And there we go. Done. And I'm going to rewind it. Click stop. And turn the mute off. There we go. Mute's off. It's not white anymore. It's purple. Click play. As you can see, I um, track two came in. If I want to move track two so it comes in after, I can do that. Or if I want to have track two come in first, I can do this as well. I can slide it out. If I want to um, repeat everything that's being said in track one, I can loop it out to 15 seconds. When I am finally happy with everything, and I have that one going there, I can even bring track two up here and crossfade over it. When I'm happy with everything, and I can delete this track. Let's go ahead and delete it real quick. Sorry about that. When I'm happy with everything, um, I come to the end of this, and this is the end of your song, this blue arrow. This is real important for YouTubers out there. If I leave that blue arrow there and I click Create, I'm going to get 10 seconds of dead air at the end of my track, and I don't want that. I want it to end when I'm done talking. So I can bring that blue arrow right there, and I see that that's when I'm done talking. This is when my track is going to end. I'm happy with everything. I want to export it out. I'm done. We're going to share this out as a um, MP3 file. So I come up here to share, and um, I can send it straight to iTunes, but I don't want to do it. YouTubers, you might want to do it if you're making a song or you can go straight to your podcast. We're going to export this out to disk, and I already have it set for MP3, but the default is AAC encoder. So we're going to select, and this is for you, Chris, mainly this is the best setting we can use. MP3, you want to go to Custom, and drop down here, go to 320K. It's going to take up more file size, but um, the sound quality is better. Make sure that this is not checked, this is not checked, and this is not checked, and you're in stereo. When you have these settings it's just like this, go ahead and click OK, and we're going to export that out, and we'll call this one text, uh, Test 6. I'm going to save it to my desktop. That way I know right where it's at, and it's easier to show you. Click Save, and you're going to create the mix down. It's going to convert it over to MP3 file. Bam, it's done. Now, I want to preview this, but I don't want it to open up in iTunes. I don't want it sitting in there messing up my playlist. So I'm going to right-click on there, open with QuickTime Player, and come up here and click Play, and make sure that I have audio popping right there. That's it. It's all done. I've created the file. And that is how you um, record yourself and create an MP3 file or an AAC file using Apple's GarageBand. Thanks for watching.